Hey guys, it's Karen from Artfall Acrylics. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to new subscribers. Thanks for being here. Uh, today is hack day, sort of. So I have a brand new gallon of house paint that I use as my pillow or my base for the bloom technique. And I usually use Glennon Essentials and my Home Depot was out of it. So I grabbed a can of Glennon Premium uh, semi-gloss paint um, because I don't want bubbles. I buy it right off the shelf. I never ever have it mixed at the counter. I just take it, buy it and go home and then I stir it up myself. Even with all the stirring, when you have a brand new can, sometimes it's really thin, like all the good stuff's at the bottom. So what happens is for most of us that do the bloom technique, it gets, you have to wait a couple days, you have to decan it, let it sit out, wait a few days um, for the paint to like thicken up so that the pillow doesn't spread so much. Well, I'm in a hurry and I don't wanna wait and I forgot to decan it. And so I came up with this little hack so that I could use the thinner uh, paint right out of the can um, and still keep my pillow nice and fluffy um, for when I blow out my blooms. So I'm gonna show you that little hack right now. I really don't change the uh, consistency um, for my colors in the pouring medium. I don't really change the consistency of my cell activator either. Those things with the base being thinner are gonna spread out anyway. And what happens is uh, you're gonna get bigger cells. So if you like big cells in your blooms, this might be the video for you. The thicker the paint, the smaller the cells um, because, you know, the paint uh, doesn't want to spread as fast. So uh, let me stop talking and just show you. <laughs> let me get you down. Hey guys, excuse the mess. I wasn't, I was painting today and I wasn't planning on filming because uh, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> but this is a... Uh, such a good little hack I thought I would share. So uh, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, or if you're new, welcome. Um, you guys know that my preferred base paint for blooms is usually Glidden Essentials. And I was out of it, and so is my local Home Depot. So I am using, um, what's it called? I am using, Glidden Premium today, Glidden Premium paint, uh, which I've used before and it's fine. And I bought it last night, opened up the can, put some into my uh, my measuring cup right here. And even though it has been sitting out for a good 24 hours, it is still quite runny. So I really, really wanted to paint and what's happening is when it's runny, you know, it spreads out. Instead of staying like this, it spreads out and makes your puddle, your pillow, quite thin. So I have found a way to get around that by using my little cookie cutter. Now I get these, I like these as my little stands to put my art on. I prefer these over um, push pins because I can never find my hammer. They hurt my thumbs, you know. So I use these cookie colors, they're a buck. You get, they're a dollar a piece at Michael's. I put this in the middle and you don't need a lot because this is where you're gonna put all your colors. Just a little more of your base paint, your house paint, and then I do my colors. So I'm making a bunch of smaller canvases. Um, a local gallery in my hometown has an open call um, for artists for a show, um, the small artworks show, where everything has to be, uh, I think a 10 by 10 or smaller, which is, you know, right up my alley. So um, I've been making a bunch of blooms, getting ready to submit those uh, for entry into this show. Hence, that's why I wasn't filming. So I'm just gonna make one, maybe two, so you guys can see this hack. And hopefully, it's worked three times for me so far. So we'll go again. 
This is my Cornacridone Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. We have a Primary Elements Pigment. This is Ginger Peach. We have some Utrecht Red Violet. I'm almost out of these colors. So if I do another painting after this one, I'll have to uh, stop and mix up some colors. So there's Red Violet. We have some Benzimidazolone Yellow. And then we have some Permanent Violet Dark. Colors, brands, pouring medium recipe, all that good stuff will be in the description section. And, I don't know, just for giggles this time? No, let's go with it. And then my Sew Activator color is, oh my goodness, I'm just about out of it. I need to make up a tiny bit more. It is Turquoise Green by Amsterdam, and I need to make more. And I don't know if I want this Sew Activator color, so I'm just gonna make a tiny bit more. This is my Australian flow trawl. Give this a quick mix. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sort of kind of mixing up my cell activator. If I had, if this was here, that puddle would be gigantic. It would just run away. So that cookie cutter is keeping everything from going off. No, it'll spread as soon as I lift it up, but I'm going to grab my hair dryer real quick and we'll give it a blowout. So, all right, this is looking good. No trace, kind of thin, the way I like it. Make sure it's really well mixed up. Uh, see what I mean? Like no trace. It just pours right back in. This actually might be a little too thin, but I'm going to roll with it. We'll know by how quick it sinks. So we do that. And then we lift up, it'll make a bubble. So make sure if you do this, lift straight up until that bubble pops and then pull it away. And then let's blow this out. Uh, cool air, low fan. Other favorite cheat is to turn the hair dryer off make sure make sure you know where your low setting is that's high and then if you want turn it off turn it on turn it off real quick and it does help you get little cells without having to puff on it and then as usual I'm going to grab, I like the blue background, so I'm not, I'm going to leave that the way it is. I'm going to grab some stuff off my sides, just to wet these corners down, help things slide around. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty right here. Right there, is that all four corners? Yeah, I can grab some out of my tub a little bit. Let that set up a second. Looks like I'm gonna get some big, big cells. I have a feeling. And you see how fast that paint spread out because it's thinner. And let's just give this a baby spin. Just to see. Wow, went to the corner super fast. One more. Holy moly, that's a winner for me. Let me do it one more time in front of you guys. We'll make one more and uh, just a quick video. I was hoping to do painting um, 
for you guys. Uh, so next video will definitely be um, a larger deconstructed bloom. And, and I've been promising people that I would show you my hack for getting uh, silver to show up in your art. So that'll definitely be the next video. But uh, let me put this guy away and uh, grab another canvas. Okay, I'm back. I had to make up some new colors and this is very spur of the moment and I haven't tested these colors out. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like. So first off, um, and I made mostly pigments too. So this first one is called Apple Green. This is a Pearl X color. The yellow is a this, this Little Piggy and Lemon Sorbet. They're my two light colors. And then this one here is Emerald. This guy right here is called Nebula. And then my purple is my Golden Fluid Acrylic and Permanent Violet Dark. So those are the colors. And this is a 10 inch, is this 10 inch? Yeah, 10 inch balsam wood round. Uh, it's cradled. Since it's balsam wood, there's no, that wood grain is kind of fake. So I didn't worry about prepping it. I'm just gonna go. I'll start with my little puddle like that. My paint seems to be thickening up as the day goes on, but I'm still gonna do my cheat anyway. I'm gonna plop that right there. And let's just do dark light, dark light, I guess. So let's start off with Nebula. And then maybe I need to end on a darker color. So let's do the purple on top of Nebula, and then the lemon. And you know, if I hate the uh, the colors, we'll scrape it and try a different order. And then let's do the apple green. And then we'll put the emerald on top because I'm using the same cell activator. Let me move all my cups out of the way. And if these turn out, that means I'll have like, the uh, art show isn't until the middle of July. So I will have plenty of time to let these cure and resin and get a couple of them framed, etc. before uh, they get hung in the gallery. So I'm still using my turquoise green as a cell activator color. I probably should have had that, that nebula first. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I have a feeling though. Nebula probably should have been first. Oh, big bubble. There we go, pop that off. Here we go, let's see. wrong uh wrong band speed there there's not enough contrast for me but this one i think i messed up the order yep i messed up the order learn from my mistakes uh yeah let's just flip this over and go again because there's not enough con the colors are gorgeous. I love the, the color combo. Kind of proud of myself for coming up with that on the fly. So 
We'll leave that there. See how fast it's still spreading out. So let's do this. We'll put this here. That'll get blown over, so I'm not real worried about that. Then we'll just add a tiny bit in the middle. And let's kind of reverse things a little bit. So let's do, I still like the, let's do purple on the bottom. And then the yellow. So what do I want on top? I'm trying to decide if I want nebula to be last or if I want the emerald green to be last. Let's go with the emerald green. Now let's change it up. Let's do nebula last. Let's do the emerald green. Now, and then candy apple. And then the dark nebula. And then the cell activator. Yes, definitely better order. My cell activator is too thin. You see how quick that sunk? That will go real quick. Let's see this order. blowout on my part though that's what I feel I feel like it did a lousy job I do like the colors very much we'll spin this out and see if I do this one over it'll be because I wasn't happy with my own work with the hair dryer and maybe do I want to puff right there or leave it let's leave it let's just see what this looks like first before I pass judgment Yeah, that's a hard no for me, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me stare. Uh, yeah, that's a no. That's a big fat no. Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need my cookie cutter in another hour. I think this stuff will be good to go. All right, third time changing up the order. Now see, be smart if you have new colors and you want to test them out, do it on a little four inch tile or something. Don't be like me, but I'm out of tiles. So this is what I'm using. That's where I would do my color testing for order and everything. Oh, 
I'm going to put two dark, dark colors on top of each other, too. Oh, you know what? Let's layer them with a little more green. That's what we'll do. We'll just put down a little more green. And then put the nebula like that with the emerald. I like emerald and nebula together very, very much. All right, here we go. Give that a second. I like seeing the uh, aqua green in the background. I don't mind the white for me digging in too much. Other things should fly off, like that line, off that bubble. All right. Oh my gosh, that's dramatic. This is very dramatic. I'm deciding whether or not I like it. Do we like this? Somebody say something. Yell at your phone or your TV or wherever you're watching. The um, cell activator just made for really interesting patterns. I'm gonna take that little blob off right there so it's just like a little tiny baby spin. Is that enough to do it? No, almost. Did that do it? Almost. Yeah, there it went. Highly unusual. I like it. I like it now. Yes, I do. I have one more and we're done for the day. Uh, I know I've been blooming a lot, but like I said, I wanted to, I really wanted to submit some in this show. So, uh, thanks for watching. Be right back. Hey guys, I'm sorry. Uh, my daughter just informed me. She came back in and said, oh, you're still painting? It's my graduation. She's graduating from eighth grade. So I have to stop, clean up and get ready, you know, to do a honk and wave drive by at her middle school. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of school. So sorry for that. At least you get the general idea about the hack though. Here's the uh, last one we did. It has really grown on me. Like I said before, it always takes me a little bit to warm up to my own art but uh i'm thinking this one's pretty dang cool i love the colors in the middle so there's the uh 10 inch round here's the square i did and i know it's i hope it conveys on camera but what's cool to me about this one is there are three different areas of cell activators where the cell activator change colors so right there it looks pretty blue and then up there, there are parts of it where it is definitely the turquoise green. And then down here, it's a little bit of both. So there's that guy. And then you didn't see this one off camera. This is this was my tester piece, even though I'm really happy with it. This is the same colors as this one, just in a different order. And then I did a little deconstructed one um, off camera too that I'm really, really happy with. So uh, that's it for me today. Let me uh, say goodbye. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results uh, from our hack of using the cookie cutters when your pillow or your base paint is too thin for blooms and containing it in the cookie cutter. But before I show you those, I wanted to point out something. I know you've seen this one before. So this is from the last video, the dried results of this piece. 
And when I created this, I used as my base paint or my pillow, Glidden Essentials House Paint mixed with a little bit of Gak. Um, and this dried pretty dang nice. Has a nice sheen to it. Very, very lovely, right? But in this video, I had used, oops, sorry. I bumped my stand. I had used Glidden Premium instead, which is a couple bucks more. This is Glidden Premium Semi-Gloss. There's the number G-O-N-6411-N. This stuff right here, I'll have it in the description section. And I want to show you the difference. So that's the Glidden Premium Semi-Gloss. And here's the dried results. Look at this thing. You would swear I have a couple coats of varnish on here. And I promise you, I do not. I have done nothing to this. And look at the shine. Like, it's amazing. Such a drastic, drastic difference. Like, to me, this is super gloss. And this is semi-gloss. Um, but no, this says uh, on the can that this is semi-gloss. So there's that guy. It dried perfectly, too. There was one. And then, I mean, same with all the ones. This one here as well. Super, super shiny. And then the one I did, uh, one of the ones I did off camera. Same deal. Like, I can't get over it. I mean, look at that. You're just blingy as all get out. So, I might have to rethink using Glidden Essentials and stick with the Glidden Premium. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the difference. Let me say goodbye. Hey guys, that's it for me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little hack. Um, just as a reminder, I post new content, new videos every Tuesday and every Saturday. I tried to get them up before 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I'm here on the East Coast in Virginia, and that's when you can find my videos. Waterfall Acrylics will be closed from June 19th through the 30th while my family, my, my camera's drooping again. <laughs> I'll just go with it. <laughs> um, I will be closed June 19th through the 30th. Uh, we're going on vacation. I'm very excited. And uh, at least you have a couple videos to watch while I'm gone. But that means no lessons. So if you contact me about lessons, it'll have to wait until July. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your love and support. So, so, so appreciated. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please check out my Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page. Help me get to 10K so I can post videos there. And finally, check out Fluid Art Addicts, our group where you can share all of your wonderful work. You guys take care. See you soon. Peace out.